RFID, radio frequency identification tags. You probably don't know this, and you're not supposed to know this because it's a secret, but the library is spending over a million dollars on an RFID-based inventory self-checkout system to replace the half a million dollars we spent on the previous system. RFID is an extremely controversial technology. The city of San Francisco has outright banned the use of RFID within the city limits. A number of university libraries have decided that the problems with RFID are not worth the benefits. Cal Poly Pomona, in the guise of Dean Schleifer, has made a unilateral decision to implement RFID without any sort of discussion about the controversial uh, security and safety and confidential aspects of this technology. Does anyone on campus even know what's going on? How dare Dean Schleifer make a decision to implement such a controversial technology without any sort of discussion? Libraries have been the most staunch defenders of privacy. We regularly stand up to the likes of Homeland Security. We've risked jail for your privacy and your right to read whatever you want to read. For in secrecy is spending millions of dollars on a system that lets anybody with the right equipment intrude on your privacy. With RFID, RFID technology, a person can casually stroll by a faculty or professor's office and record in seconds every book you have. This kind of issue is why cities across America have banned this technology. This is troubling stuff and the university needs to provide some answers and the university needs to let us know what's going on and what kind of stuff is going into this library and how these things are being paid. These are serious privacy issues that need to be opened up to a campus form. The aspect of all of this that is the most bothersome RFID, the secrecy, uh, book dumping, and, and many more things that, that is so way outside the traditional realm of what libraries have stood for. And I consider many of the things that are going on with this library, especially the secrecy and, and the lies and the subterfuge and the, the character assassination to be an affront to my personal librarian code of professional ethics. And it should be to all of our librarians. They should be very upset with what's going on. He says that the only reason he came up with the 100,000 volume target for books to be thrown away was because he was trying to be provocative. Well, quite frankly, Dean Schleifer is about as provocative as an after-dinner mint. The truth here is that he wanted us to throw away at least 100,000 volumes because that was the only way, getting rid of a significant portion of our collection, that we could bring the cost of the RFID system down to below a million dollars. The reason we wanted to do this is if the cost of RFID was over a million dollars, this would trigger all sorts of reporting and verification and validation process. We didn't throw away this many books and the cost of RFID is way over a million dollars, but he found a way to chop it into a number of different pieces and distribute it across all sorts of funding sources so that it appears that it's actually below a million dollars when it isn't at all. Does it really make a lot of sense to spend over a million dollars for a self-checkout system?